Dude, get out. I just wanted to say you looked at not okay. I come from the Welcome back to another video and in this video as you can tell by the title This is my go-to Scents right now for the summer. These are not technically summer scents. It's just what I'm wearing right now It just so happens to be summertime. So if that's something that interests you just keep on watching So my name is Tanika and on this channel I talk about everything beauty my mom life and everything else in between a little bit of this and a little bit of that That's something that interests you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Show me some Love. Before this intro gets super long and I just start rambling, I'm just gonna dive right into some of the scents that I've been liking for the summer. First two is not technically scents, but they do have a scent and it's something that I have been loving this summer. First one, since I've already talked about it in my affordable um summer perfume video, which I will link it in the cards. I can't even think of what I titled it right now, but this is um Tom Ford Shimmering body oil and so like blanc um this y'all is my summer favorite as you can tell done but i have a backup of this because i love this so 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 much i'm not gonna really talk about it too too much because i already have a video on this which like i said i'll link it again it's in the cart um this retails for 34 dollars this is the 1.5 fluid ounce um this is in the warm and spicy fragrance family and I'm just looking at Sephora's website and I'll link everything down in the description box below just in case you want to check it out for yourself. This is in the Warm and Sweet Gourmands and, and for all of my people, I'm going to be seeing a lot of Gourmand uh, scents and if you don't know, Gourmand uh, fragrance just means a synthetic edible note such as like honey, chocolate, vanilla candy, that type of scent. Like basically like foody type of scent that's what Vermont typically means back to this uh the key notes in this is bergamot um pistachio cor yangling get all that from here it smells very good like a clean smell in my opinion but warm and spicy so i typically love this and i top it with this this is my new found fave like y'all this gives me such a beautiful warm bronze tint but this is by the brand so de janeiro and this is Havana bronze glow oil and i purchased this from support 35 dollars and y'all this is a summer must have like they have different um tints of this but i did like the deeper bronze and it is so pretty i'm gonna put a little bit on and this is with it you can tell the difference it gives you like a shine it's not all the way rubbed in either um it does kind of transfer so i'll be very very careful of that but this is like kind of i don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's definitely there it doesn't have like any nose or anything but all I smell is very, it's like very, very coconut heavy, but it smells so good. Like, I love those two for the summer. So another scent that I have been loving this summer is the Tatcha Gia. Y'all, this smells so, 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 so good. This to me is a very summer, sexy daytime scent. Like, very, like, alluring. It just, like, it could definitely, like, command, like, presence especially for the daytime nighttime i typically wouldn't wear this not saying that you can't but for me it's more like a daytime like scent i wear this if i'm going to brunch if i'm just going on errands like but i still want to be like cute the top notes in this is tangerine and pink pepper the middle note is turkish rose and the base notes are vanilla sandalwood and amber hey the longevity of this on me is about like five six hours it's not super super long but I feel like it projects very well. I get compliments when I wear this. This is one of my most affordable perfumes uh, that I purchased from Sephora. It was $76 there. You can check out different like websites like Rebel Sense, um, Fragrance Net, and see if it's on there. So I would definitely check that out and see if you like it. So moving right along, we're going to go to my next summer scent. And y'all, this is Burberry Her. This is another floral fruity gourmandy scent. The nose behind this is Mason Francis Curtis John. That's why a lot of people compare this to the Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't get it. it's a dupe for that, but it does smell similar to that. Um, the top notes in this are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour, cherry, 
black currant, mandarin, I'm sorry, mandarin, orange, and lemon. The middle notes is violet and jasmine, and the base notes are musk, vanilla, oat moss, ash moran, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. This just smells so good. It's so well blended. Again, I would typically wear this in the daytime of uh, the longevity on this on me it's about like five six hours ish it projects very well i would give this like an eight out of ten like this is so good and that retails for 127 dollars i got it from sephora as well moving right along so this is my girl this is my favorite like i go back and forth between this and the baccarat rouge 540 x straight but this is such a woman. This smells so good. It's so feminine. If I had to picture this scent as a person, it would just be a woman, a very boss woman. She knows her worth. She commands her respect. This is definitely everything that you can imagine in a fragrance. Like, if it's one, like, high-end fragrance that you have been wanting to purchase, but you, like, not for sure because you can't smell it, this is a safe blind bag. I don't see why anyone would ever be disappointed in this fragrance. I don't see why anybody wouldn't like this fragrance because it's so beautiful and it's so well-blended and it's so long-lasting. This perfume is very pricey. This retails for $225, but if you're, like, on sacks or anything, they do have different coupon codes that you can get i didn't even say her name this is the infamous mason francis kirk Jean gentle fluidity gold the gold the silver is very masculine so the notes in this i don't have like a top middle or base for this but it's a ginger berry nutmeg coriander musk ambery woods and vanilla i love i love 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 this and when you top it with the kaoli of vanilla 28 I can just not talk about anything else. This smells so good. It lasts all day. You're going to get nothing but compliments like the whole day. Somebody literally stopped me and was like, what are you wearing? Like you smell so good, but like refreshing. Like she's really, I'm really having a conversation combo to the doctor's office and me and my doctor was having a conversation about these because it smells that good. Like she literally said she's going to order it because it smells so good on me the top notes is vanilla orchid and jasmine the middle notes are brown sugar and tonka bean the base notes is amber amber wood musk and patchouli these two are sorry for her um the next kayali scent we we're just talking about kayali is the sweet diamond pink pepper 1.7 fluid ounce they retail for a hundred dollars at sephora this one is very like daytime appropriate it's nice not appropriate too but i can see this more so the summer days the top notes in this is pepper saffron bergamot royal lily the middle notes is bulgarian rose may rose vanilla orchid and magnolia and the base notes is sandalwood musk amber and patchouli this fragrance is like very flirty very like daring and it's so sweet and soft at the same time like this is a this is a woman like this is a bad woman fragrance that i just am obsessed with and i just have a sample but as you can see my sample is like dwindling down and i really really want to buy this but i just don't want to pay for it right now this is a uh, byredo's rose of no man's land y'all this is so pretty it's so soft it's literally everything this retails for 190 dollars reason why i don't want to buy it so the top notes in this is the turkey red rose pink pepper the middle note is turkey red rose and raspberry bloom the base notes is papyrus and amber it smells so good like this is another daytime scent i actually really pull for this at nighttime uh to work to bed because it's it's just so soft but sweet and it's just this is really like one of my favorites for night and that's why i don't want to pay 190 because like pay 190 for a fragrance at night but it smells so good it's like i don't it's long lasting because when i wake up i can still smell it a loves it on me another favorite of mine that i'm really obsessed with the last fragrance i want to talk about in this video is the odd Hermann amber oud rouge this is a dupe baccarat rouge 540 extra well, i'm i talked about this in my last video when i explained the perfume notes and i'll link it right now so i'm not gonna go too much into this because you can just watch that video now, this smells so i can bathe in this i can wear this all day every day matter of fact i'm wearing this today yeah. This retails for $58.60, so it's so worth the money. It's so long lasting. Lasts all day. Like, you need this. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite right now. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to support my channel. <laughs> thank you. I'll see you in the next one.